Are we are about to start. We're actually live right now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. On behalf of Yanni Peters and myself, I'd like to welcome you here at the Olivier Cornet Gallery and online on our social media platform for the launch of Field of Vision. This is Yanni Peters' fifth exhibition with the OCG. And I think I say that every time, Yanni, you have once again surpassed yourself and your constant exploration of new techniques and combinations of techniques is something that I've always admired and encouraged. The results this time, and I'm sure everybody here in the room will agree, are just breathtaking. Um, this is a show that needs to be seen in the flesh, and people watching us online today, I really urge you to come either later today. We are booked out until half three, but you can come afterwards, just give us a tinkle. Um, this is, as I said, a show that needs to be seen in the flesh. Um, in recent months, Yanni's work has joined two important collections here in Ireland, that of the National Museum of, of Ireland, with a very glomise uh, work called Hanfan for Habitats, and a painting um, called The Plants We Played With, which joined the collection of the National Gallery of Ireland here in Dublin. Uh, speaking of the National uh, Gallery in Ireland, it gives me great pleasure uh, to welcome our special guest today, Janet McLean, curator of the National Gallery of Ireland. Uh, Janet, who studied in TCD and the Courtauld Institute, grew up in the County Down, County Down sorry, countryside, and although she has spent most of her adult life in cities, she told me recently that a childhood love of plants has stayed with her and has probably sustained her too. Janet has been the curator of the 19th, century, 19th and 20th century European arts at the National Gallery of Ireland in Dublin since 2006. Before that, she worked as a curator at the Royal Academy in London, Palace of Westminster, and Watts Gallery in Compton. Recent exhibitions she has worked with or on include Drawn from Nature, co-curated uh, with the wonderful Patricia Butler, Mondrian, New Perspectives, Lines of Vision, and Irish Writers on Art. She's currently working, and this is a bit of a scoop, so you've heard it for the very first time here at the Olivier Come Gallery. Janet is actually working on an exhibition of Alberto Giacometti's work, which will be held at the National Gallery of Ireland next spring. Janet, our humble floor is all yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, I want to say a sincere thank you to Yanni and Olivia for inviting me to speak at the opening of this very special exhibition. Yanni and I met just recently, however, our paths first crossed virtually a few years ago when I was working, as Olivia said, on Patricia Butler's um, exhibition, Drawn from Nature. Irish Botanical Art, and it opened in March 2020 and unfortunately closed within a few days. But when the exhibition um, spanned um, botanical art of several centuries, and we thought it was really important to show that botanical art is very much a living art and to highlight, as much as our limited space would allow, some of the brilliant artists working in Ireland today. Um, I think we, I encountered a lot of um, people thinking that botanical art was something that Victorian ladies um, did. And as we can see, Yanni is very much not a Victorian lady by any stretch of the imagination, neither are her, her um, contemporaries in this field. So it's a very much a living and thriving art. And we wanted to show the sense of continuity um, in the exhibition. Yanni was one of the 10 contemporary artists invited to exhibit it, and we displayed two of her works, one of which I'm delighted to say, as Olivia has mentioned, was acquired from the National Gallery of Ireland collection, and um, so it belongs to all of us um, now. It's not just the galleries, it belongs to, belongs to everyone. Um, while installing John from Nature, and during the brief time that it was open, Yanni's work attracted a lot of attention. Um, I was struck by how the curators, the conservators, the art handlers, the security attendants, the director, um, 
uh, at all the staff, the education team would pass by or pass through or email me and say, um, you know, think they all, so many people had something to say, even if it was a passing remark, like I really like that one, or that's the one that I would take home. And that's a direct quote um, from actually more than one person. So um, at home, I'd print out some things that were laid out on the floor and my daughter asked if she could keep this one and she was browsing through it and it was Jani's painting, The Plants We Played With. And she liked the way the artist, and um, she hasn't met me yet, said that she'd left the drawing lines visible and didn't colour everything in. And at 10 years old, she'd already had years worth of well-meaning teachers um, insisting that she colour everything in between the lines. And something in Jani's work really um, struck her and um, she wanted it. To, she, she wanted to think that this is what real artists did, you know, that they left things um, areas unpainted. Um, I want to say it's a testament to Yanni that though she's highly regarded, respected and esteemed by botanical art peers and plants people as um, I fondly call them, her work commands imme an immediate attraction to people of varied interests and indeed ages. I've seen it firsthand how she captivates the interest and imagination of those who may not recognise a particular plant or even know its name in English or Latin or Irish or any language, but her curiosity prompts and engenders curiosity. Field of vision, which um, I, you, you visitors can see, and please do come um, to the gallery and see it, those of you who are online. Um, Fields of vision is an extraordinary uh, body of work. Not only is it beautiful, but it is an important work. Yanni has made art out of the limitations placed on us over, the re over recent months, and her focus and productivity is incredible, as are the paintings she has made. True to her style, the work quietly draws us in. Yanni is sensitive and authentic to each plan depicted. Her work is not loud, it's not showy, it's quiet, it's subtle, and it's very, very intelligent. Although the glass plates are uniform in size and shape, she allows the individual forms, the flowers, the leaves, the stems, the seeds to settle within their spaces. Structures and forms are subtly and sensitively arranged. They never feel forced or contrived, they're just allowed to be. Importantly too, I think there is space, light and air around them and through them. There's a suggestion that they are part of a bigger whole and a wider world. Um, I think you can see this looking at the, at the works around you. There's um, lots of light in there around them. There's a suggestion too of continuity that these plants, Yanni's painting them and our view, viewing them are part of a past, a present and a future. In 1876, Vincent van Gogh, an ardent nature lover and an artist who have a terrible weakness for quoting, wrote in a letter to his brother Theo. Always continue walking a lot and loving nature, for that's the real way to learn to, to learn to understand art better and better. Painters understand nature and love it and teach us to see. Yanni not only sharpens our senses to the familiar, but she reminds us of what we might have forgotten or have taken for granted. Her close, intelligent and sensitive observations of wild plants teach us to see, as Van Gogh said. One of the things also that I love about Yanni's work is how it constantly surprises, but in the most understated and beguilingly sophisticated of ways. The gilding on the glass pa panels is magical, and I don't want to say the backs of the panels or the reverse of the panels. I think the, the gilding is integral to the whole. Like the shadows cast um, in different lights that come and go, it's clever and inventive and completely in keeping. These white plants are precious. They may be common to us, but they are indeed worthy of the auras that Yanni bestows upon them in her quiet way. If anything, I think life over the last year and a half has highlighted that we're all part of a delicate and finely balanced ecosystem, how reliant we are and how responsible we must be. Nothing should be taken for granted or wantonly weeded. It starkly reminded us too of things that we knew, to treasure the so-called small little things, in fact, the little things are the, really the big things, the only things that really matter. Family, friendships, community, nature, and the environments we share with humans, with plants, with animals, life seen and unseen. By focusing on the richness and variety of what is close at hand and underfoot, Yanni makes this very clear. There's an immediacy and an urgency to these 75 plant portraits. As we edge, I think, into the winter months, I think the timing of this exhibition is absolutely perfect. It is a breath of fresh air. And I've no doubt that Olivier, consummate gallerist and curator, planned it to be so. Each of Yanni's paintings reminds me of growth and renewal. 
that though it may be dormant, life is still out there, that the short, dark days will pass, shoots will emerge and leaves again unfurl. Field of Vision, I think, is a stunning exhibition, an exhibition full of hope and full of wonder, an exhibition that does us, as my gardening granddad, grandfather would have once said, a power of good. I wish to congratulate Yanni on her um, brilliant achievement, to wish her all the success she deserves and the very best for the future. Thank you, Yanni, for inviting me to this. Thank you. I'd just like to give you a very small token of my appreciation. I'd just like to thank everyone for coming because it's great to have a few friends and friendly faces uh, here to keep me company and um, I'm very grateful to Janet for the time she took to make such a beautiful speech. Um, so you're very welcome to have a look around and anyone who's out there, please come and join us and we'll keep an eye on you all. And if you have any questions, just come and ask. <laughs> And those watching online, yes, please do come. And the exhibition is running until the 6th of November, and we open every day except on Mondays. Just give us a call, send us an email, just to let us know what time you'd like to come at. Thanks very much for attending today. And those of you again at home, you can actually watch the or look at the exhibition in our virtual space, which was published. All right, thank you so much, and goodbye for now. Bye bye. Thank you, Ari. 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 Thank you, Ari.